Welcome to Media Minute. It's been a while, but we got some great things to talk about. We'll be back right after this. Welcome to Media Minute Roundtable. I'm Michael Forward. I'm Chris Raskowski. And I'm Rachel Edge. It, it's, it's been a few weeks. Yeah, we took some time it off. It has. Yeah, it was, it was summer. Yeah, it for, was. The, for a little bit. I mean, the last bit. bits of it. <laughs> it was hot, and now it's not. Yeah. Welcome to Canada. <laughs> for, for, pretty much, pretty much. I mean, it's still nice, though. It, it is, yeah. Like, today is. Yep. Yeah. Got the leaves changing outside. Yeah, everything's turning yellow. Yeah, we yeah we we have like no maple here, so yeah, there's no reds or oranges. Yeah, it's, it's just, just green to just yellow. Yellow. <laughs> like don't get me, don't get me wrong, like the yellow's nice, but like it would be nice to have a little variety. <laughs> yeah, it's like how they uh, in in Hollywood movies when they go to Mexico, they hmm. tint everything in yellow. <laughs> yeah, it's like, dude, come on. <laughs> yeah, everybody knows. Like we get it. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's been a while. Uh, you guys seen anything new that you want to talk about? Saw the new Matrix trailer. Yes. Yeah. Keanu. Yeah. Keanu's guys... back. Did he ever leave? Yeah. How do you guys feel He's about been busy. it, though? He's been busy, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of interested in what direction it's going to take because, like, it looks like Keanu doesn't know he's Neo, so. Yeah. What's what's going on? Is he in the quote-unquote real world now, or, or was the Matrix the real world? Who knows? It just... Yeah, like that's uh, at least from the trailer. Right, go ahead. At least from the trailer, it just looked like they're revisiting just like old famous scenes from the previous Matrixes. It almost seems you know like I mean? a soft reboot yeah. type thing. You know, it's not a, a full on reboot. We're starting the Matrix from from the beginning, but uh, yeah, it's uh, very interesting what uh, what directions it's going to take. And, and, and obviously, I I only have the trailer to go by, but yeah, it's like, hey, remember that time? That they were on the rooftop with the helicopter. Or yeah. Remember that time Neo stopped the bullets. Remember that time, like yeah, a lot, a lot of. I'm still excited to see it. Yeah, Rachel, what do you what do like, you I, think? Oh, sorry. Uh, I was just gonna say, like, I've heard rumors that apparently this is like setting up for like another like Matrix trilogy, like in the sense of like they're getting all of the older actors to hand it off to like some new players. So I don't know. I'm mm. I'm curious to see, but I'm also kind of like concerned. Yeah, so they turn in like the, the Matrix into one of those kind of like franchises. Like I, I don't know if I'm down for it. Yeah, there's no sign of Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah, that's a bit of a bump. Yeah, you know, a bit of a disappointment. Yeah, if if you don't have Morpheus. Yeah, and Morpheus is key. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe he's in it, but they didn't want to throw him in the trailer. That, that, no, like he's maybe not. like there's yeah. like something to do with it. I don't know. No, he's he's busy doing like Broadway stuff. He wasn't even invited mm-hmm. back. Really? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That's cold. Why wouldn't you invite know. Morpheus back? Like, no. he was one of the best characters. The Wachowski brothers don't really have the... the Sisters. Uh, yeah. yeah. And, and, and whatever. Well, it, it's, it's only one now, too. Like, the other one went off. Uh, they said that... Uh, oh. They said what they wanted to say, like, in the first Matrix film. So it's just it's just one of them now. Yeah. I mean, and, and oh, I, it's only the ones doing it? Yeah. I didn't know that. I thought they were both doing it. Yeah, uh... Interesting. Can't remember the name. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure about the name, but pay uh, attention to yeah. people's gender identities. I guess. Yeah, I don't care. I just want to see a good movie. Yeah, yeah. I right, let's hope it's a good movie because can you imagine going into this and like the, it's not like. Uh, I would. I would like I'm to really see another nervous. Speed Racer. <laughs> I, I know a lot of people dogpile on Speed Racer, but I liked it. It, it was. I co- mean, it I was did colorful. Too. It did get points for uh, it. It got the John Goodman in my book. Yep. It got John Goodman points just for having him in there. And Christina Ricci, I like her. I don't think she gets enough play. Yeah, I, I That's agree. That's a weird way to say it. Anyhow, but no, I thought Speed Racer was actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't, I'll, I'll I'll even defend the second and third Matrixes. Mate. Matrix? Matri- Ma- Matrices? Yeah, yeah, Matrices. Matrix okay, on. okay. the third one was kind of a dud. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll battle that, but the second one, I liked it. I don't know. A lot of people didn't. I still enjoyed it. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know. I think, like, if it was in any other, like, way for, like, those, like, movies, it wouldn't be the same trilogy. Like, 
I feel like it almost had to go that way, you know? I don't know. I, I enjoyed the trilogy, like, through, like from one, two, three, so... I don't know. But I also have come to the realization my movie taste compared to your, your guys' movie taste is completely different, and I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> that's, that's good. Like, so, so you're saying you didn't like Speed Racer? <laughs> What? I actually have like no opinion. I've seen Speed Racer, but it's it's been a while since I've seen it, so I can't really remember it. Yeah, like I was. A it, kid it doesn't really stand out. It came for out. Me. Yeah, it's yeah, it's not a it's not a slam dunk for sure. Yeah, but like, no. like Bound, Bound was amazing. Yeah. If you haven't seen Bound, it was their first kind of a commercial release. Check that out. Got Gina Gershon, Jennifer Tilly. Uh, Remind me again like what a, that one is. Oh, uh, it's about uh, there's a gangster that lives next door to this recent released convict, and she's just kind of like fixing the place up, and then she kind of gets tied up into this whole mob, twisted. I don't know if I. Should, I mean, it's been around. It's been. It came out. I, I can. I can do spoilers, right? Yeah. It's, it's okay. So. Yeah. Uh, Jennifer Tilly is the girlfriend of a mobster who's bringing home a shit ton of cash. Damn it! I swear. I, I've been trying my best not to do that during this. <laughs> Anyhow. But yeah, she brings a, her boyfriend or husband, I think, brings home a, like a buttload of money. And then she makes a plan, really elaborate plan, which is the best part of the movie. Uh, her and the neighbor, Gina Gershon, they uh, steal the money. Okay. And find a clever nice. way to do it. It's pretty. It's a pretty basic movie. Like, like basic is in like it's not really elaborate. Yeah, like it, the it, was, it was like one of their first ones. So yeah, yeah. So bound. Check that out. That's really good. Yeah. Interesting. G- Gina okay. Gershon, Jennifer Tilly. Uh, oh, what's the guy? The Italian dude that the, the Wachowskis use him a lot. Joe something. Oh crap! I should have jumped. <laughs> oh, I think it's Joe Pesci. <laughs> I actually watched Goodfellas last yeah, that's night. The other. Oh, yeah. Sidebar. <laughs> nice. Such a good movie. Ah, uh, it's such a good watch. Yeah. But yeah, Bound, awesome. Um, first Matrix, awesome. Second Matrix, I'm going to give it an awesome. And I know a lot of people probably won't be on board with that. Third Matrix, mm. as, as someone who likes giant snappy robots, I like the part with the giant snappy robots. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was what, uh, Jupiter Ascending? Yeah, that one wasn't so hot. Yeah, I took the time no. to watch that. Yeah. And then... Which, like, it cut... Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Uh, Atlas something. Crap. Oh, okay, yeah. The, that was, oh, that uh, was the one where it's like it was yeah. jumping around in time. And yeah, like Tom four, Hanks, four or five. Halle Berry. Yeah. Uh, and they had, like, a ton of really big actors. Cloud Atlas? Yeah, Cloud Atlas, yeah. Is that it? Yeah. yeah I, I found that one a little bit too artsy. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm like a basic bitch in terms of like movies. <laughs> <laughs> See, like I'm, I'm down for artsy films if it makes sense. Because yeah. like I've watched artsy films before where you're just like at the end of the movie you're like, what did I just watch? Well, like, the, like I just, I, I never what, want to find myself know? in that position. It's like if I'm asking what did I just watch, then I just wasted my time. Yeah, well, like, I'm a massive, <laughs> I'm a massive David Lynch fan, so I probably just should probably <laughs> stay out of the conversation. I, I, I would, t- but I would, I would call David Lynch artsy though. Like it's, it's a different sure. type of thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like you could you could watch his films and you're still like at the end of the movie you're like okay like listen I can watch I, I can watch Patrick that. Stewart D- Dune all day <laughs> and a hundred percent yeah speaking of which like apparently Dune's doing pretty good in terms of ratings I think it's been out uh, for a last while. I checked yeah. Really? yeah yeah so uh, of course we I didn't even our, realize our, it was our theater uh, local theater is is kind of small so we mightn't yeah. see it for like three months yeah here. it's open now by the way it's it's open yeah yeah. But yeah, Dune. Uh, nice. I know David Lynch gets again dogpiled for the the Dune adaptation. But it's pretty good. I I think I feel like he kind of got thrown in the corner for that one. Yeah. Like they kind of threw him to the dogs. In ter- yeah. in terms I don't know if it was David Lynch or if it was more of like the the production company. Apparently, yeah. Like David Lynch wanted to be like take it in a somewhat different direction. And the yeah, the other producers were like or the studio was like uh, no dude. My, my favorite fact about that is that like there's the, no dogs in the Dune books, but David Lynch just wanted to have dogs, so there are dogs in Dune. Yeah, he's a big dog fan. Yep, and and really, who isn't? To be fair though, yeah, like dogs make everything better. Actually, the thumbnail for this opinion. might involve a dog. An up dog. Pagan. What's up, dog? Not much. You. Oh. oh! 
I'm gonna th- I'm gonna throw <laughs> a segue graphic just because. Okay. That was terrible. That's great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, we're a little rusty. <laughs> it has been a few weeks. That's fine though. Um, speaking of speaking of remakes, have you guys uh, checked out the new Candyman yet? Not yet. No, no, I haven't. I haven't actually seen the original. What? Well, I, I was like, yeah, I haven't either. I, I was, oh man, I'm leaving. Yeah. I'm, okay, I'm out of here. I'm I don't know. Okay, but let me let me explain it. They're like Tony the Todd. The only reason I haven't seen me? the original. Yeah. Tony what? Todd. I was like six when it came out. Plus, it had like a picture of a. Well, the the original poster was like a bee on a an eyeball. Yeah. That wasn't doing it for me. No, that. Yeah, that like that wasn't that exactly in. like a poll. Yeah. No, Tony but, Todd. Like, I gotta say. I gotta say though, for like the Candyman like remake, I was like actually really enjoying the movie. Like Jordan Peele produced it, so he had a big hand into like how it like worked out and stuff. But the acting was really good. They got the original Candyman to come back too, which I like always appreciate when they do that. And yeah, like there was definitely some like societal like stuff like snuck in there. Like they were talking about certain things, and like isn't, I, isn't it didn't like, overpower the, the movie, which theme is nice. About like gentrification. Yep, isn't there's a lot like, of that. Kind of, yeah. Which the original definitely but, had some of that in it, for sure. Yeah, like, I think, like, the fact... It, it's not like they stuck, like, right to, like, the same, I guess, like, boundaries that the original did. Like, they did add, like, a little bit extra in there. But, like, honestly, like, the acting was incredible. Like, they did this really cool... Like, they had these, like, puppet montages, too, that were, like, really interesting. Like, they did a really good job with it. It's like, I would definitely suggest watching it. And, like, having never seen the original Candyman, like, I didn't feel lost at all. They had some, like, really good stuff, like, explaining the backstory of the Candyman and, like, all of that kind of stuff. So it really helped out with the, that part because I feel like it opened it up to people who haven't seen the original. So, but I would definitely suggest watching it, guys. If you're obviously horror fans or you just want to see Jordan Peele's next big thing, I would definitely go see it. Is it on Netflix or anything? Or um, Not yet. I saw it in theaters. and It was, okay. like, the first time being in theaters yeah. in, like years and it was really cool but um i don't think it's out on any of the streaming sites yet but i wouldn't be surprised if it was coming out soon yeah probably not speaking of, of remakes uh we got a oh, hold on, hold on. What? what role did tony todd play in the new Candyman? i'm a big tony todd who's fan. tony todd he played the original Candyman. yeah he played Candyman again uh did he Okay, cool. I'm not. I'm yeah, like they brought out. him. Like it, it was like. I, I met him. I don't want to say too much because nice I don't want to spoil nice. it. But like he, like he, he definitely makes his appearance appearance like known in the movie. Okay. If that makes sense. So we. I yeah. it honestly it sounds like they set up for a sequel. So. Well, they they set up everything for a sequel see. these, these yeah. days. Yeah, that's true. Like, like I don't think you can watch a standalone film no. anymore. Like, I, I don't even know if that exists. No. Well, uh, you mentioned you saw Blood Red Sky. I feel that was kind of standalone. Yes. Yep. Uh, yeah, okay, it. yeah, that one definitely. Yeah. But. Have, have you seen that, Chris? Blood Red Sky? Blood Red Sky. About the vampire on an airplane? No, no, I haven't. But I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I was looking at it. I almost watched it. Yeah. Really good. Haven't yet. Yes, it's good. Really good. It's good. It's German, I think. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. So German vampire horror on an airplane. Just needs some like Samuel- snakes on a plane yeah, or vampires on a plane. Except, <laughs> no Samuel L. Unfortunately, that would have been. Oh my god, that would have been wicked. Yeah, he just comes out of nowhere. No. I'm gonna, yeah, I liked it. I'm gonna have to watch. look up. I thought the story was really interesting too. I'm gonna have to look up uh, how to say "get these snakes off my mf in plane." Yeah. In German. <laughs> <laughs> Nine, <laughs> they're snaking. Like, <laughs> they're biting. Like that'd be really tough. <laughs> like, ger- like German is a scary. <laughs> German's a scary language. Like, I feel like you could yell anything in German and people would be scared. And uh, Russian. Well, there's an old Maybe. comedy bit. I'm sure it was once like get, once you get used to it, though, yeah. it's pretty. Yeah. Yeah, but like I mean, like if you're having a conversation with somebody like for the first time, and like they just start speaking German, and it's just like, oh my god! Like it's I've oh. heard people yell in German, and I don't know if I want to be yelled in German ever. I don't know if like, you that can sounds scary. Speak German and not yell. Yeah. 
There, there is, um, there's an old like uh, stand up like, comedy bit that yeah. someone did, then like they were talking about German, and like they said, and here's how you say this is a beautiful butterfly, and it's like, <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> yeah, it's like they had like different languages, and it was like, this is how you say this in English, and it's like, this is how you say it in French, Spanish, yeah, something else, and then German. Yeah, I remember that, and I, I laugh so hard at that because it's true. Yeah, I would like to check out Germany though. Oh, for sure, for sure. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, some, like it's a beautiful some country, beer, but like yeah. some sausage. Dr- scary drive, language. Drive out the autobahn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell, tell That's the one where you can drive like as fast as you can, right? Or as you want. Oh yeah, yeah. There's zero there, speed limit. No speed right? limit. Okay. You can just haul ass. That's kind of terrifying. Yeah. Oh, well, they make it work. They do. Yeah. They. Oh yeah. They're, they're 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 used to it at this point, so. Yeah, it's true. There's nothing. You think that would ever fly in Canada in the states? What's that? Uh, if the autobahn, like, if we, like, do you think that could ever fly in Canada or in the states? Like, to have like a highway like that? I don't know. Mm, well, we got the space. I feel like we we got the yeah. I mean, we do. You could set up a straight line pretty easily. Of, but the the issue is like our roads are so crap. That but, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Ontario has that like, uh, pay to play highway. I can't remember it. Five hundred four maybe. Either way, it's, it's a. Toll. Yeah, right. it's a toll. Like instead of taking the four hundred one, you can take this other oh. like highway that's a little north of the four hundred one. It it yeah, but charges what, you. Isn't it still? Isn't it still following like Canadian like speeding and stuff? Yeah, okay. yeah. The idea, uh, as far as I understand, is like it's like eh, there's uh, is it, a shortcut? it costs money, so there's gonna be less people on it. Yeah, you don't have to deal with the four hundred one traffic. Yeah, that's fair. This is. The most boring topic we've <laughs> ever brought up. <laughs> we are now. Oh, no, I'm just like, sorry, I'm just curious. About Civic highways. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah. Okay, Candyman. I'll check it out if, uh, if it becomes available on one of my streaming services that I am subscribed to. Yep. My guess. I'm is stoked It's, it's definitely going to be on Netflix and probably Prime. That's my guess. Okay. Yeah, Prime. Speaking of Prime, they kind of shot themselves in the foot. But oh, what they do? They asked Twitter what uh, movie you'd like to see an all-female reboot of. Twi- oh, Twitter oh had- no. Oh, no. Yeah, that, Twitter that, had yeah. a lot of fun with that, that one. That probably went over like a fart in church. Yeah, not well. <laughs> but yeah. What well, were some, uh, some of the answers? I'm actually curious. Uh, 300, but the same outfits. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Which is an amazing response. I, I'm sure uh, there's great, probably great, like great a, a porn parody oh, yeah. of that somewhere. And a lot uh, of people are just like, none. Yeah. See, okay, you know what drives me nuts about like reboots like that? Like when they're like, oh, we should do an all female one. Just make another freaking movie completely independent of anything else and then just make it like an all female cast that way. Like give people original content versus being like, oh, we have an Ocean's Eleven with a bunch of really cool guys. Let's make. Like, another one, but with all females. Or, like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's so cheap. Yep. Oh, it's super lazy. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the laziest thing that you can do in, in terms of story writing. Like, Oh, it drives me nuts. Yeah. Oh, man. Absolutely insane. I would be down to see, like, a horror movie where it was, like, an all-female cast. I'd be interested <laughs> to see that. I don't know if I've seen any like that. Why are you guys um, laughing? I could hear so many uh, laughing. Uh, I'm adjusting my sauces. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Chris has a new thick chair. So oh, yeah, it. yeah. Should we talk about my new chair? It's comfy. Look at this. <laughs> we were just talking. We that were just talking that about chair has been topics. in this room for, like, the past two years, and it's the first time you used it. Well, there's usually that fucking... Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> 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 that, that other one is in here. But why, why did you take out the fluffy one and then use the other one? You've been doing that for the past two years. This is not my studio. <laughs> but you were the one that that was taking that chair out. Like you literally had access. I was trying to be polite and accommodating. Okay, <laughs> but okay, since that ship has sailed, <laughs> let's get the fuck back to it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Another swear. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> naughty, naughty. Okay. For the rest of this episode, I'm not swearing. Terrible. We'll see. I call bull. <laughs> hey, you swear more than I do. So I haven't sworn once this episode. Not so. this episode. Hey, do you need me to pull some clips? <laughs> you swear like a sailor, <laughs> a sailor's wife. <laughs> Damn right, I do. <laughs> the, the funniest thing is that I was a sailor, and I swear less than both of you. 
Yeah, but that's that's <laughs> occupational, is, is it not? That that's true. That's true. It's like, hey, welcome. Yeah, like, hey, like, good morning, everybody. How the fuck are you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did call myself a basic bitch though earlier in this episode. So. That's true. Yeah. This is true. Okay. Which I like. I'd have to say I. I think I disagree with that, Mike. I don't think you're a basic bitch. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Same. You're an advanced bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a thesis level bitch. <laughs> PhD <Ooh>. bitch. <laughs> yeah, so you, you get to stroke your chin while yeah. confirming your bitches. <laughs> God, I'm going to I'm gonna have to edit the hell out of this thing. <laughs> it's been weeks, people. It's been weeks. What do you yeah. want? Yeah. This is a high quality oh. content that you're looking for, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Bitch shoot, love you. I guess so. Yep. We got oh in my yeah I'm in that shot yep all right uh, we got three videos over 100 views yeah thank you so much I know that's kind of peanuts in the, the internet yeah uh, video world but we'll I'm excited it. yeah I think that's pretty cool that's pretty cool for us I think yeah. I don't know yeah. like it's it's interesting to know that many people like watched it it was like oh okay it, sweet Ireland what up yeah <laughs> well, why do we have an Irish viewer Oh, uh, bit, bit, <laughs> bit shoot is a uh, pretty big in Ireland. Oh, okay. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So hopefully to the Irish folk. Yeah. If. That'd be cool. If you want to hit that subscribe on bit shoot. Yep. That'd be will, nice. Uh, We'd appreciate that. I was gonna try to bribe anyone watching this, but I didn't have. <laughs> I don't a, know if Didn't have legal. an idea. No. But oh. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, we hit. 200 we do the uh peps blue ribbon ramen challenge yes with oh Boom, okay there you I'm, go. Gonna, I'm gonna add to that yep i'm gonna because ray and i this is off topic totally but ray and i were watching uh looking at amazon yeah checking out hot sauces <laughs> as, as you one does yeah. Uh, yeah as you, as you do yeah. but uh 357 magnum i'm gonna buy some i'm gonna do it <laughs> how much is it Oh, it's only like twenty bucks, but it's I think oh, okay. I think it's like two million Scoville. Jesus. Yeah, it's like yeah. it's like dangerous. Yeah, according to the according to the Amazon page. <laughs> so we gonna find out. You you, you, you have fun oh, with God. that. Oh no no you have fun. No you're coming along no, man. It's... Yeah yeah oh yeah. No, I signed you up. If you want to see a very sweaty man, that's gonna happen. <laughs> oh yeah no we're both we're gonna be snotting or tearing up. I, I'm going to have to buy several liters of milk. Oh, no, we're, we're just going to do a little bit. It won't okay. be like a hot ones kind of episode. Okay. No, it's not like you're going to do like a wing. No. Yeah, I'm not going to totally destroy your innards. I hope not. I need those. But it's coming. A little bit. So, yeah, get, us, get, I, us, get us to 200 views on a video. We'll do it. <laughs> we will, we will luck, harm guys. ourselves for views. <laughs> Sell welcome out. To, welcome to the internet. Sell out. But we were no, talking about stuff, were we not? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, speaking of bringing stuff back, they're, they're, they brought back Doogie <laughs> Hauser, but it's not Doogie oh, Hauser. Yeah. It's like, it's like some, some shit. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's about like a, a young doctor, uh, but the character's still called Doogie, but I think it's uh, uh, like a female Hawaiian. So. I, I not, don't know why they wouldn't just make like a new show about yeah, it, like, like a young female why does Hawaiian it doctor. But have to be Doogie. Just to like shove the Doogie is name it, in there for nostalgia, I guess. Like, I know. Is he, yeah, is it like nostalgia but, or like fan yeah. service? Like Grey's Anatomy was its own show. Yeah, that did pretty good. As far as I know. What did Grey's Anatomy like? Like you bring that up, but like what show was similar to that? That that, you know what I mean? What's that? To Doogie. So Sorry, you're, you're, you're saying breaking like up a bit. So you're 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 saying like Grey's Anatomy was like a really good show, and it was. Like well, I haven't I, watched it, but I've, I didn't like it. I know it's like it a very yeah, it was a medical. Show. I, it's just it's not like I'm not really a big. That's okay. That's a lie because I watched House like it was going out of style. But like the way they framed it for me wasn't like a a big pull. But I know a lot of people who are big fans of Grey's Anatomy. But like you're saying that like that was a really good show. But like, are you saying like it's uh? Like not like ripping off like another show. Is it like similar to another show, and that's why you keep bringing it up? Like I'm kind of confused why you keep making the Grey's Anatomy connection. It, it's a because about a female doctor. Yeah, that was wildly popular. Oh, yeah. 
Gotcha. Like, okay, I get it now. You, Sorry, like, there's been a ton of <laughs> successful medical shows. Yeah. Like, why does it have to be a Doogie? Yeah. Hauser, like House, was, like you said, House, Grey's Anatomy, that, ER was. Uh, yeah. Massive. Was George Clooney started ER. Yeah. Uh, but uh, that well, made that made me th- think if you got Hugh Laurie and Neil Patrick Harris, you could have Doogie Hauser. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, you could. Yeah. Neil Patrick Harris is going to be in the Matrix. So. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what? He's the uh, he's, he's the therapist. Uh, therapist in the uh, trailer. Asking you? Oh, you haven't seen the trailer? No, she's seen the trailer. She just no, realized I have, that it was I have. Well. I just I, I had no idea that was him. Yep. Yeah, he's asking if he was triggered. Yep. Which is yeah. k- kind of cringy. Triggered. So there you go. No, I'm hangry. It, it all comes back to Neil Patrick Harris. <laughs> it does. It really does. Yep. Yeah, so Actually, that man is a legend. Female yeah. version of... Do you remember the time in, like, the 80s, late 80s and early 90s, where they just took a popular franchise and just sent it to Hawaii? Yeah. 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 You get... Um, it's like, hey, so-and-so goes Hawaiian. Yeah. Yep. Actually, the NCIS is going Hawaiian. Uh, th- th- speaking of, okay, like, yeah, speaking um, of that. Well, they... Yeah. Shout out to Hawaii. Yeah. Hawaiian Five O. Yeah. Uh, I think Jake and the yeah. Fat Man... I, like I'm, that's a deep cut. <laughs> I'm not sure. I can't. I can't comment on that one. Yeah, I don't know. I think that was the why. I don't know that one either. Yeah, it was about like a, a detective named Jake and a fat. <laughs> I remember the name, but I didn't know it took place in Hawaii. Yeah, I have was that no a Wilfred idea what you guys are talking show? about. <laughs> I, I don't think it was Wilfred Brimley. Damn, it should be. Yeah, should have been. I only know of it because um, G. Michael Sersinski, that guy who did. Uh, I keep bringing him up, but he wrote for Jake and the Fat Man for a bit. Nice. Yeah. And he, he talked about, like, uh, he, he wrote a show where the the fat guy got to sit down for the entire episode. <laughs> so the fat guy was, like, so pleased. I got to look this up. Yeah. I want to yeah. watch it. Throw, throw up a trailer for Jake and the Fat Man. All right. Three, two, one. YouTube's going to be mad. Boom. Oh, wrong direction. There we go. amazing yeah wasn't it <laughs> that was incredible <laughs> we we don't actually watch these oh i do but yeah no one else is. <laughs> not blaming anybody for saying yeah oh boy uh well to come full circle I, I'm, I'm bringing the matrix back up okay okay one instant classic yes two yes you know it gets dogged a lot i liked it three i did too eh. I know a lot of people, at least from what I've seen online, like this, like everyone's just like a fourth Matrix. Like why? But I'm like, I, I see. My I, opinion is why not? Yeah, let's see how it goes. See, the thing I'm worried about is because like I did like I did like all of the movies like pretty e- well, not equally because the first one like you can't really top that. But like I did like the second and the third one, and like well, I they- don't know. Like I feel like the fourth one, I. Yeah, I have I have my the story's done. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, like what like what what's yeah. the next step? But that's what makes like, what's it interesting. Going, like, it's like how how are they bringing it back? And it it doesn't have the matrix look. Like you know how like when they're in the matrix they no. had a very green and black kind of like a yeah. color correction and then when they're out of it it's yeah. kind of like a bl- colder blue and red. I didn't see any of that in the trailer, so I don't know. Maybe yeah. maybe we're getting thrown a curveball. Yeah. I don't know. Hopefully. I, I just know. want it to be good. I, That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. But there, okay, but what if it's not though? Like, what if eh. this is like a terrible idea? Well, I mean, look at Star Wars. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. True. If it sucks, it sucks. We still have the first one. And the, well, the first three. Maybe. maybe not so much there, but... I, I really wish okay, the... Do you, but... Keanu, Sorry, Keanu, go ahead, Mike. Yeah, I really wish the Keanu Reeves Cowboy Bebop happened because cause yeah. what they're Me doing too. now doesn't look. It's not looking too promising, the Netflix one. Yeah, wasn't there some, I don't know, turbulence with one of the actresses? Yeah, she She's, was crapping on the fans, which is always a great look. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> I know man. you're being sarcastic, I but I wasn't. <laughs> you, what? I really hate when people do that. Yeah. It's so dumb. Like they're like they're the whole reason that you're there. Yeah, well, like some people were giving the actress flack because like the uh, the outfit that her character wears in the the anime wasn't it, it didn't quite the live action one didn't quite measure up. Oh, but I mean, man. since it's coming out and oh. saying, "Hey, look, I'm I'm trying to, you know, I'm doing my best. Uh, this is the best wardrobe options that we had, or whatever." She's like all sarcastic and everything, so. See, like, if There's, she wasn't sarcastic about it, like, yeah, then I'd be like, okay. But been, also, she, like, yeah. as a fan base, like, are you re- like, I understand it's important to fo- follow the details of, like, certain things, but, like, they do have to change some stuff up for it to fit. Yeah, it, it's understand. Like, no. anim- anime clothing is is not <laughs> practical by any, like. Especially on the women. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's not going to work. Oh, no, not, not especially women. Guys, too. <laughs> like, it's, that's, that's true. Oh, yeah, any, absolutely. Any anime superhero is dressed ridiculously. Yeah. It's great. That's what makes it so oh, good. Oh, for sure. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. You it's can't. like, that, that fits doesn't the anime. Well. It's not going to yeah. feel them. But, yeah, yeah. But, like, instead of saying, coming out and saying, hey, we had to make these changes to be practical or whatever, so she came out and just all sarcastic. It's like, oh, we couldn't find, like, clothes that would mm-hmm. just cling to you. Like, it, it, the way she came out wasn't very good mm-hmm. about it. That's not good. Yeah. See, like, that, okay, fair. But it's like, yeah, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like, especially with anime and stuff, you got to be really careful with what you do. Like, look what happened with Ghost in the Shell. Oh, yeah. That, like, that was that was terrible. What do you mean? Uh, yeah. They, well, they, they they whitewashed Ghost in the Shell. <laughs> what do you mean? And it pissed everybody off. So instead of like hiring like um somebody that fit the the main role better, they hired Scar Jo just yeah. because like her schedule fit. Because they did have they originally did have a um another actress lined up that like was Asian, but she had but a scheduling a conflict, so she couldn't do it anymore. So they went with Scar yeah, Jo because her schedule fit, and then everybody lost their shit because she wasn't Asian. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me let me try. I don't watch a lot of anime, so maybe I'm in the dark here. Yeah. The Ghost in the Shell thing. She was a robot, right? Yes, but in Japan, like made yeah. to look, made to look human to blend in. Yeah. So, but you, Japanese, especially in their anime, constantly try to make their characters look white. Not really. Sailor Moon. Well, yeah. It's like, character like, design. So like I I I'm confused like why why that why is that a problem like it's a robot it, yeah but so people like, were looking like the so fandom was looking for people for the person yeah, that looked te- technically more it's like a cyborg it's human brain inside so it's not a robot yeah I still don't understand why that why Scarlett Johansson playing a robot is a problem yeah. it was a problem yeah Maybe, like I honestly like I think it was the same year that Scar Jo just got can like not canceled yeah, but she was getting she, attacked by yeah, the she was getting. And like she tried to play that trans woman or trans, mm, tr- no, she tried to play a trans yeah. man, yeah, and got yeah. shit on for that. <sighs> yeah, no, sorry, I'm trying, I'm trying. Anyway, and yeah, like what's? Because I saw the movie Ghost in the Shell, like that's that's decent. It wasn't obviously as yeah, good see, as the I, original, I'm, but I just don't understand like why I'm people not, like, were all bent out of shape because Scarlett Johansson was playing a Japanese robot. I think they were just. I think people were just looking for somebody that looked more so like the anime. Yeah. And it's like Scar Scar Joe didn't fit that. I think that's what they were mad about. Is like when like you take a, a fandom, especially an anime fandom, and you try and make it into like live action um, movies and stuff. It's like you got to be really careful with how you do it because if you do, it's like you could piss off a lot of people really easily. Uh, no matter what you do in so, Hollywood nowadays, you're pissing off true. some group of people. Oh, yeah, no, oh that's true. the that's Little true. Mermaid's not white anymore. Everyone's pissed off about that. Oh, you, The Rock played a guy who was missing a leg. Everyone's pissed off. What? Oh, it's just it's, yeah, it's in, exhausting. Um, skyscraper. Oh. He was he played an amputee and people were mad. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. But it like the reason people get mad is because they want to see people who have that those characteristics play the role. Like they don't want these big name actors. But the thing that 
people on the other side of that don't realize is that, okay, yeah, but if we don't put The Rock in this role, like, who's gonna come watch this movie? He has star power. That's why these people are getting these roles. It's not because they're not trying to follow guidelines, I guess, is, like, a weird way to put it, but um, they're just trying to make the money back. So, obviously, you're gonna put bigger name stars in there. I should be an actor. If all I'm, if all I'm allowed to do is be myself... <laughs> Done. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> like, I can, I can, I'll, I'll, well, like, I'll receive yeah. a paycheck for just showing up and being me. Well, that's the thing that I don't understand is like, isn't that the whole point of being an actor? Is like playing anymore, people apparently. that you aren't? Yeah. Nope. I don't know. Like, I, I, I get where like the fandoms come from because it's like, obviously, like as part of a fandom of like the Harry Potter and stuff, like, it's like, I get it. It's like, you expect to see it a certain way. You expect the characters to be a certain way, but it's like, I don't think you need to hold on to it to the point where it's like, you actually cancel the people. It, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like if, if boys don't cry came out this week, would Hillary <laughs> Swank be canceled? Probably. I, I'm not, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, it's a uh, Hi- yeah. Hillary. Do you know who Hillary Swank is? No, oh, I know who Hillary Swank is. Oh, I don't she, know. If she boys was the next karate kid. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but yeah, she played a. I think it was a trans I, woman. I haven't seen it in. It's been a long time. Chloe yeah. Savini was in it. It was, really, it was really, actually a really good movie. Yeah. Fucking devastating. But yeah, she played a. I mean, you could also. She played. A, I don't know what the title, the correct term is, but she played a woman who was pretending to be a man. Yeah. Brandon. Crap, I can't remember the name. It's been so long. Yeah, I. I like, I, I vaguely remember the movie, so I can't help with, like, any details. But she played a woman who was pretending to be a guy. Yeah. And then it's a true then, It's actually a true she, story. It's really heartbreaking. Like, she got found out, and they killed her, and we messed up stuff. But That is terrible. But, like, that's the thing, though, is, like... Is she not allowed to do that? Like, if... As an actress? I don't know. Like, I, I, I think that's... It's really scary, because, like, Hollywood's kind of on that teetering point where it's, like... Okay, do we keep doing what we're doing with the fear of getting canceled, or do we like pander to that? Because if you pander to that, it's like yeah, it's like people could argue like, oh no, you need somebody who uh, who is a trans person to play the role that Scar Joe got. It's like okay, are you gonna go see that movie still if it's not Scar Joe playing that character? You're not gonna get as many butts in the seats. No. Exactly. No, that's true. It's like I I am all for like inclusion and making sure that like people who do like do fit that characteristic or character better like gets those roles but sometimes you got to make the hard choice and it sucks because it's like okay like we're probably going to get attacked for this but like we don't like we need to figure out how to do it right that's all and like speaking of getting canceled like i guarantee you if like the dallas buyers club came out now like jared leto would got canceled 100 percent blazing saddles <laughs> yeah <laughs> you, 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 you could not make blazing saddles today no I'm, it's I it's I actually crazy. It's actually anymore. crazy because I think to make I think break. people are starting yeah. to realize how like toxic this cancel culture is because there's like a lot of people on social media like Twitter for example it's like they're they're like cave okay, like there's no point in canceling anymore like what what like how like Kevin Hart got canceled because of a tweet he made like six plus years ago. And Dave Chappelle had a great at, response it, to that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Like and it's just like I don't know. Like I think. There's no point in canceling people because it's like, what is it going to do? Is it really going to do anything? Or are you just not, like sitting there kind of... 90% of the world kind of doesn't bu- pay attention to like you know? <laughs> what, what's going on at, on Twitter. It's like, oh no, Twitter's mad at me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, darn. Yeah. yeah. And? Yeah. Well, it's I, like, what, who is it? I think it's Matthew McConaughey. He's running as Republican... He's trying to. I think he's setting up to try and be a Republican senator for like Texas. Yeah, I think he's running or people, at least considering it. Yeah, but it's like people are mad at him because he's Republican, and I'm like, did you see where he grew up? Oh, heaven forbid. <laughs> How there? Like how, I like I don't. Yeah. Someone has I different don't get political it. Like, opinions than mine. Yeah, I'm gonna freak out and flip a table. Gee, I I mean, do you really want well, to live somewhere with a single political party? Yeah, no. That's no. My fun. God, that's terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> that's terrifying. Like I think. This whole idea of, like, everybody needs to think the same way as me or I'm a, I'm going to be offended about it. Like, we need to get rid of that, like, ASAP. Because, like, my God. Yeah. This is getting ridiculous. Well, I'm going to... Weren't, yeah, weren't you weren't you just saying, like, not too long ago that you don't want to get political? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened there. I got a little, uh, I got a little worked up. My apologies. Yeah. I, I got she watches too much Ben anybody? Shapiro. <laughs> 
Matt Walsh. Again? Turns you into a white supremacist. <laughs> I gotta change uh, directions go now. <laughs> oh, you, haven't you just seen that chart? <laughs> what? Yeah, apparently uh, Ben Shapiro, he's low on the totem. Well, I guess oh, uh, the yeah. pyramid. But yeah, the, uh, higher yeah, heart. Yeah, I've heard of that. He uh, listening to Ben Shapiro apparently leads you to genocide, committing genocide. And then yeah, there's Ben Shapiro. Sorry, what? Oh yeah, oh yeah. You, uh, I'll, I'll I'll try to I'll try to pull it up. I don't know. If, yeah, maybe. Right, there, there's like a chart of like influencers and stuff that if you listen to or watch to, then you're completely terrible. Yeah, Gavin too. Yeah, Lauren Southern. Actually, oh, all the, all the Canadians, Gavin, the Lawrence. See, that's the thing. Is like I don't talk like when like when I'm at work or I'm meeting somebody or anything like that. It's like I don't talk about politics because it's like I know somebody's gonna get upset, and it's just like it's. I don't know. Like I feel like people are like so quick to judge you based on. Oh man! If you bring up you believe, pizza right? going on pine or pineapple going on pizza, oof, it's delicious. Oh, it is. My God, <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Screw you, internet. I yeah. Pizza seeing... does belong on pineapple. <laughs> What was it? Like on Twitter, it's like somebody was saying, uh, like posted a pit, uh, pizza picture, but it had shrimp on it. Like not like tiny shrimp, like big shrimp on it. And oh, it was yeah. like, <laughs> people were like pineapple people and people who don't like pineapples on pizza. Like we need to come together and squash this evil. <laughs> I've had shrimp on pizza yeah, and it's delicious. I'm not going to judge anybody for the pizza toppings. Yeah. yeah. Right? Like, dude, if that's what you like, that's fine. Yeah. Like, I don't care. You want to go olives and, uh, I don't know, sardines? Yeah. yeah. Do you, man? Do it. You're paying for it. As, as long as you enjoy yeah, like, it. As long as, you're, as long as you're not trying to, like, force people to eat it, you're fine. I <laughs> yeah. feel like that should be the same with your politics. No, for real. I even remember the first time I had shrimp on pizza. Yeah. It was from Pizza Pizza. It was in Scarborough, Ontario. It was at my mom's <laughs> friend's. Uh, her name was Aggie. She was Newfie. Uh, yeah, it was a uh, shrimp. Like, like the little guys. Like the, the little salad, yeah. salad shrimp. Yeah, like the uh, baby. The ba- yeah. yeah. Uh, broccoli and... Oh, crap. Something else. It wasn't pineapple. That's wild. I think it was green peppers. Onion? No. Green peppers. Green pepper. Oh, okay. It was delicious. Nice. Shrimp, I, broccoli, wait, actually the fr- green yeah. peppers. The first time I had shrimp on pizza, it was the salad shrimp too, but it was on um, at Panago. They had like a... Panago was good. Shrimp pizza. And it was like, it was actually damn good. <laughs> I was pleasantly surprised. I mean, anchovies on pizza has been around forever, so... Yeah. Yeah. Fish on pizza is not a... Anchovies get a bad rap, too. Yeah. Like I've never had them. I just, just heard they're really, really salty. That is true. They are very salty. But not very fishy. So like, make sure you have... Oh, I, I don't weird. think I've eaten very many. I'm, I'm more very of a fresh weird. fish type guy. Yeah. Oh, so you're going like... See, okay. I'll, I will, I will oh. see your fresh fish and counter you with shellfish. Yeah. Mm. This episode got really strange. <laughs> This is a very weird episode. Uh, good thing but I already have the hopefully thumbnail. Hopefully we don't yeah. get canceled. <laughs> L- listen, I'm going to completely change directions now. All right, all right yeah, yeah, let's get back on topic. We are, let's do it. Yeah, we need to. We, we don't have a topic. We, we probably need like, to have like a time <laughs> stamp, which is like random political thing. Yeah, like I wore a tie for this. Yeah. Why? I don't know. <laughs> it's because. So you wanted to be snazzy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I, I've uh, I've got uh, like a really weird uh, watch thing where okay. I'm 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 okay. watching uh, mid two thousands science fiction shows that have been obviously shot in Canada. Dark matter. Yes. I love that. Uh, uh, I watched uh, Eureka, which I think was filmed in like Chilliwack. Uh, nice. Cool. Yeah. But, you can tell it's Canada because Home Hardware nice. is in the background. Shout out to Home <laughs> Hardwares. <laughs> and I love that. And it, they do a crossover episode with another sci-fi show that was obviously shot in Canada, Warehouse 13, which apparently was shot nice. in Ontario. I don't know if I saw that one. Yeah. That's about like uh, like there's these uh, artifacts that like these government agents have to track down and collect. Okay. Yeah. You have my attention. Yeah, no, it, 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 it's pretty good. Uh, it, it seems to be uh, seems to be like the the main thing with those shows is like uh, some sort of like a uh, police officer or a government agent or some stumbles into like a science fiction or like a uh, you know supernatural type thing and suddenly they're like a science fiction cop, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Sci-fi cop, as one does. Yeah. 
Yeah, so that was a know, terrible synopsis. It's but, but uh, I mean, it still right. sounds really interesting. Yeah, uh, yeah, Eureka is pretty good. It's uh, like this uh, federal marshal. Uh, he ends up in this town where this, everybody's a genius, and they have like all these all sorts of weird experiments going on. This sounds really familiar. Yeah. I remember seeing like commercials for that, and the only thing I could think of was like, can you imagine being like the only dumb person in town? Yes. <laughs> like, that would suck. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> well, welcome to my life. <laughs> I hang out. Oh, by, we lost. I Rachel. hang out by the creek. <laughs> well, I don't know what happened. We it, we we can hear you, but uh, we oh there she there is. There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I, oh, this is gonna be somebody a from it. like Eureka heard me, and they're like, shut her off now, shut yeah. her off now. But there's um, also like Stargate. Yeah, like. Like the Stargate shows, they were all filmed in like Vancouver. Were they? Yeah. Were they actually? Oh, Star- I didn't know Stargate that. was good. Yeah, well, not, not the movies, but yeah. the yeah, uh, yeah the, the show. television shows. Yeah. Um, you know, all, all the alien planets are like Pacific Northwest, like <laughs> outside of Vancouver. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah, but Battlestar Galactica was filmed in. Uh, that's, Van- not, that's not outer space. That's Smithers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kelowna. <laughs> I just had to throw that in there. I don't know why. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Battlestar Galactica was filmed in uh, Vancouver. Nice. Yeah. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah. X-Files? X-Files, yeah. That, that was filmed. Yes. In, yeah. A ton of things. We could be here all day listing stuff that's been filmed in Vancouver. Yeah. yeah. It's not It's not really sci-fi, but like Supernatural. Like they filmed in yep. Canada heavy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they've been there for, or were there, I guess, for what, like 15 years? Yeah, they they, they just finished like last year. Like, Yes, right. and the supernatural fandom is like so upset. They're like, "When are they coming back?" I'm like, "Guys, it hasn't even been a year yet." Like, yeah. it's, it's a wrap, everybody. Let them let them try new Sorry. things. Yeah, cause like J- uh, Jensen Ackles is in uh, the boys now, actually. Yeah, he's playing like a new hero or something like that. Yeah, like Soldier Boy. Yeah, I think it they, is. They, or they s- just finished filming like actually uh, the boys. Did they? Yeah, for yeah. the new season. Yeah. There's uh, another one that's filmed in, in Canada. Toronto, is it not? Yes. Well, and Oshawa yeah. sometimes. Yeah, because yeah, like when that van attack happened, they had to like readjust because yeah. that's where they were filming. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, they're trying to bring the darkness there. But <laughs> yeah, this is. I don't know why I keep making excuses for this episode. <laughs> let's just let's just, just go with it. Let, let it be. So I got a topic. The Beatles. Okay. But oh, as I screw up my microphone. Bear with me. All right. Back to normal. All right. Good stuff. Uh, baby names. Yeah. Taken from movies. Oh, yeah. Uh, Yay yeah. or nay? Uh, nay? Nay. Yes. Nay. Correct. <laughs> Everybody wins. Yeah. Because uh, how many Khaleesi's were oh, open God. within the past five years? Uh, yeah. Uh, she ended Daenerys? Up, Daenerys. Yeah. Huge Daenerys one? ended up being like a uh, fascist <laughs> dragon lady who burned everybody alive. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. y'all are like, yeah, that's a good name. It's like, no, no, you just took it like, from this TV show that's popular. Like, like, yeah. It's not even a real I, name. Like I, I, like, I will never give anybody, like, flack for naming their kid, like, after a, a movie character or something. I will. Like, I don't know. 100%. No, like, I, like. What if it's, like, well, no, a, a like normal a name, though? Like, say if, say if you called your kid, uh, like, actually, actually. Luke? Yeah, if you called your kid Luke. That's fine. Uh, well, that's Actually, that's a biblical name, so that kind of doesn't count. Yeah, for his movie. Actually, Actually, I was supposed to be a Luke if I was a dude. Yeah. I was going to be Nicole. So, I went to, uh, I remember going to the theater to see something once, and there was a parent there with a couple kids, and the kids' name were, kids name were Luke and Leia. <sighs> Le- Leia is kind no. of a stretch, because it's not yeah. like a, not a yeah. name. Like, I, I, like, if you want to name your kid, like, Lakeland, or like, yeah. Yeah, anything like that, like, oh. okay, do your thing. But like, no. personally, I, w- I wouldn't do that. Like, for me, it's, like, I feel like when you name your kid, it's, like, if you're going to name them after somebody, name them about somebody that's, like, impacted Real? your life. Like, in your family, you know? Or, like, something like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm old school. Yeah. Because, like, I have heard people with, like, Harry Potter names. Like, I, I've I've met a real-life Hermione, and I was, like, whoa. You met a real one? <laughs> that's crazy. I know it happens. Yeah, for I've real. Never, like, I've never encountered an actual one. Yeah, 100%. Like, there yeah. was, it was actually in, like in chat for one of the um what was it there was like a festival not a festival uh where all the businesses get together chamber they like go into like the say again trade show 
that's it, the trade show. And there was a little girl, and she came over to the booth because, like, we had games and stuff. And then her dad came up and was like, okay, Hermione, we gotta go. And I was like, no way. That, no way. You should call child services <laughs> like, at that point. It blew my mind. No, like... I get it. If you're a fan of something, like, like of a character, and you're, like, hoping, I guess, your kid gets those characteristics. Like, or Hermione was, like, a smart genius, right? So it's, like, okay. But, like, I don't know, because, like, my mom named me without knowing that Friends was super popular at the time. So when she found out that, like, Friends Oof. was, like, uh, it, insanely popular sorry. and that she named me Rachel, she was pissed. I'm just picturing like, you I being just born with a movies. Rachel haircut <laughs> right now. Sorry? I'm picturing you being born with the typical Rachel haircut. I, I literally well, that's the thing. I literally have the number one name for the year I was born. Mike? No way, really? yeah, yeah. yeah, Mike's pretty Chris? Yeah. Um half my friends are named Chris. Yeah. Coincidence? Maybe. That's true. Know. It's really weird. Yeah. It's really weird. I, I've known a few yeah, like, growing up. Yeah, we're we're yeah. we're not like my... rare. Yeah. Yeah. And like that's the thing, is like I met quite a few other Rachels. But it's, like, it was funny, because, like, my mom, like, because, like, she was in the hospital for so long after, like, giving birth and stuff, it's, like, she was, she had no idea. So when she, like, met other Rachels, she was, like, oh, is it because of, like, it's a biblical name? And mom, <laughs> it's, like, no, Rachel Green from Friends. Oof. And my mom, oh, my mom was pissed. She was, like, ah, damn well, it, okay. I, okay, <laughs> I, I have a story about now. a name. Okay, yeah, okay. you got a story? Okay. I, I, story I, time, everybody. I have no idea if this was actually true or not. I, I think my dad told me this once. But apparently okay. uh, in some small town near where I grew up. Well, uh, Newfoundland has some pretty crazy towns. It, it, it does. Uh, yes. this, this particular town is called Trent River. That's shockingly uh, yeah. average. For it's <laughs> normal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, apparently there was a child called Loader. Because loader? loader, because a woman got pregnant, didn't know the name of the father. All she knew was he drove the loader. No. Yep. Like I said, I <laughs> I have no idea if this this is true or not, but this was a story. Oh my god! At least it wasn't that called backhoe. <laughs> yeah, backhoe. <laughs> <laughs> See, like that's the thing too. Like I think it's funny because it's like. I always think of first names, but you never think of, like, first names with certain last names. Yeah. Like, we, I remember when my auntie was pregnant, she was, like, they were coming up with names and stuff, and uh, their last name is Carrier, and they were saying Isabella. They were, like, my mom was, like, don't, don't name your kid Isabella. And they were, like, why? It's such a pretty name. Like, it's, you know, all that stuff. And then my mom looked at them and was just, like, Isabella Carrier. It's not going to work. And they were, like, oh, my God, we didn't even, like, process that, right? And then my dad was in the background laughing. He's like, call him airplane. Then he could be an airplane carrier. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I should have been called like that, Fast. Say again? My first fast? Name is should, that what you're saying? My first name should have been Fast. Oh, Fast Forward. I get it. <laughs> did it do? <dude. laughs> I went to this, uh, high school with a guy named uh, Mike Hunt. Yeah. I, I actually knew a Mike Hunt. No. Really? Yeah. Oh, no. It's a pretty common name. <laughs> yeah. Also a Harold Butt. Nice. Yeah. Actually, no. all right. S since we're on the topic of names, I'm going to predict that in the year 2030, there's going to be a massive uh, Karen drought. Yes. No, a but ain't no way. Called, yeah, nobody's nobody's anyone's anyone's naming scared. their daughter Karen. No. No. Heck no. So, so there's going to be a severe just deficiency of Karen. There's no Karens. No. I think Stacy might okay. be on the endangered list too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've ever, I've heard Stacy in a long time. I mean, it's kind of they're up there with Olga now in terms of what names that are turning into old-fashioned names. I think we should bring Olga back. Interesting. Strong. I, think I like it, Olga. It means light. I think. If you if you if you come across an Olga, yeah, chances are they have the ability to push you through a wall. True. Just, Actually, just true story. On one, one of my buddies from college, his fiance, her name is Olga. Yeah. She's also Russian as fuck. Yeah, though, it's, so. it's, it's, it's a Russian name. You don't see it too much now. I thought it was like Norwegian. I, I, I don't really spend a lot of time studying the origins of names. Yeah. But I thought Olga was more like Nordic. Uh, I, I've always thought Russian, but I could be wrong. Or yeah. Ukrainian. Maybe I'll look it up. Yeah. Probably not. It could be just like <laughs> maybe I won't. Slavic, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. But. Yeah, I remember when we were younger, like, our teachers were like, oh, you guys should go, like, we 
had to find out what our names meant. And so we had, like we put our names into like the I go I don't know like a baby name thing, and they usually tell you like the definition and stuff of it. I was so disappointed with mine because mine just means mother of mother of the lamb, and I'm like that's lame. <laughs> that's I don't like that at all. Because there's like people I knew that were getting like super sweet things. Like I knew a guy named Matthew, and his name actually meant um, gift to women. And he like ran with that, and I was like, "Oh god!" Mine is okay. he, he, he who is like God. You too. Yeah. Yep. Christopher. I mean, it's in the name. Yep. <laughs> you don't really need to do the math. No. Well, for me, you also have like the archangel or whatever. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He was. Yeah, he's like, he's like the badass of the angels. Yeah. yeah he kicks some butt. Yeah. He kind of, yeah, kind of was. I didn't swear there. Yeah. You know, like easily nice. could have. Sure. I still like the idea of the biblical, like accurate angels, though. Like the wheels with the eyes on them, instead of yeah, like, those things pretty, are pretty, yeah. pretty looking guys. Weird. <laughs> it's like, don't be afraid. Like, oh my god, what the hell? I mean, I feel like that would make more sense. Like of why, like when in the in the Bible, when they they do have like a an encounter with an angel, that they're all like, holy. Sh- yeah. Like, oh my god, and they're freaking it, it out. Make, right? It makes sense. If, it's like, like if an you saw a huge... eldritch horror, that's like. Yeah. Coming for you. Yeah, whereas, like, if you saw a human with wings, I don't think you'd be so, uh, about it, you know? Yeah. John Travolta. Maybe you would. Oh, yeah, it wasn't Michael. (laughs) Yeah. When he had his kind of, like, second wind. (laughs) What, 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 is he on any wind now, John Travolta? No, I I think he's done. Yeah. I think he's just busy, like, being a pilot. Yeah. He's he's got, like, his own, like, (laughs) airport. At, yeah. like his house or yeah, runway you know, Scientologist buddies yeah well to be fair though it's like he did lose his wife like not super recently but like within the last couple of years so I think that kind of put a he's kind of like okay I gotta focus on family like he's made statements saying he needs to focus on his kids and stuff yeah and his kid you can't fault him for that I mean, no you can make fun of him for his weird political and religious views but I mean yeah, yeah. at the end of the day like your wife passes away yeah it's, come on man. you can see yeah. him so, it's like uh, stuff goes out the window. Rick Moranis, he like yeah. stepped away from Hollywood for like twenty years to take care of his kids, and got sucker punched on the streets in New York. Yeah, which is, why did he get sucker punched? Because some guy was being an a hole. Yeah, it's sucker punch. He just yeah punched him from behind. He just felt like knocking out. Yeah, it's it's That's... not like someone went out on the street looking to punch Rick Moranis. It's just some guy like throwing a sucker punch. Yeah, like he probably didn't know that it was Rick Moranis. He was just hey. It's, oh just, okay. Little, I thought maybe he was like yeah. a a pissed up, pissed off man or a pissed off fan. Sorry, no. no. Or in like, why it was like, oh, this guy's. Why like, would anyone you know, be angry at Rick Moranis? Yeah, right? he's like, honey, I shrunk the kids. The sequel? Are you kidding me? Oh man, I'm knocking you the honey. I, I honey, I blow up the baby. Some people, some people are really yeah. weird that way. Like they get attached to the like the celebrities who play these like characters. Oh well, yeah, just, but Rick really Moranis. Weird. No. Yeah. You never. I'm just saying. I don't know. That's why I was shocked. He's the least he's like he doesn't seem like the guy you <laughs> <laughs> He's the most like docile and just like calming yeah. person you could imagine. He's funny. Yeah. yeah. And he just, he just makes you feel good. He doesn't make you angry. Yeah. No. There's no way. Rick Moranis could not make me angry no matter how hard he tried. And I don't I think feel he like would it would try. be tough. Yeah, and he wouldn't he wouldn't. He'd be yeah. just like, no, nah, man. Who's the Jeopardy host these days, by the way? Right now, I have um, no idea. It was yeah, they've had, the executive like, producer. They've gone for back a minute. and forth quite a bit. And yeah. then he got canceled. And th- they were going to mm-hmm. have uh, Miala or whatever her name is. Oh, uh, Blossom. Yeah. Yeah, I guess she got passed over. I don't know. It's yeah, it's, it's, it's a weird mess. It, it's this confusing. This feels like it shouldn't be a hard yeah, thing. To... Just pick someone. <laughs> yeah. To, to be fair, though, like it is like a beloved show. And I feel like filling Alex's shoes is going to be really tough for whoever takes that over. Like, I don't, I don't envy them at all. Yeah. All right. Anyway. I'm going to endorse another. I, okay, I screwed up the first time. Yeah. I, I made a mistake. You're, you've I'm trying to be better. Withdrawn LeVar. Yes. I would like to see Will Ferrell. <laughs> yes. Yo. Yep, that would make so much sense. If that bites me in the ass next week, I'm never bringing up Jeopardy again. <laughs> and I didn't even bring up Jeopardy this time. Mike did. I don't know why I did either. Yeah, because cause, uh, I don't know why. It's a, out from left field. It's just yeah. something that struck me. I think Will Ferrell would do a spectacular job. Yeah. 
you know, yeah, like I feel like I feel up. like he would be funny, but I feel like he could also be serious. Yeah, totally. Yeah. You know. So my vote is Will Ferrell. Either that, or since it was a Canadian last time, Ian Hanamancing. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. <laughs> he was, he was what? Like, Ian Hanamancing. He was a CBC uh, host for a long time. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, sounds good. Or, That's a crazy or, last name. Sorry, like the last name is what threw me way off. <laughs> This is a bit of a curveball. Yeah. But uh, what's the lead singer from the Crash Test Dummies doing nowadays? Oh, yeah. Does he need work? Probably. You know, <laughs> the answer is probably. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're swapping out a Canadian with another Canadian. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it should stay Canadian, personally, yeah. but I may be biased. <laughs> yep. See, now I'm just trying to think of like, who would make a <laughs> great a Jeopardy Good host. Gift. Not Mike Myers. No. Because no. apparently he is terrible to uh, work with. Yeah, apparently he's just... He's gotten people boy, fired man. before yeah. just because they looked at him funny. Seth Rogen? No. <laughs> no. Okay, no. but Seth Seth Rogen high. No. He has to be high. 100%. Still, I would, hard, I, I, hard yeah. pass on that one. Yeah, that, that, that was literally a joke one. So. <laughs> I would love to see it, to be honest. Like, even if they did it just like as like a, like a skit or something, I feel like that would be hilarious. Well, uh, anyone got anything else they want to bring up? Um, Did you guys know how old Adam Sandler is? I recently found this out, and I it kind of blew my mind. 50s? He's like 55 or something now? Yeah, 54, sorry. He's a teenager on the Cosby show. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. It's, It's just like, it's weird seeing people... At, like I like you've seen on the screen before, like as you're growing up, like get older because you're just like there's gonna be one day when you're not around, and it's like I don't know if I'm gonna be cool with that. Well, like when Betty White dies, like the entire world is Betty gonna lose White is not gonna no. die. Come on, it's not happening. Uh, let's not get ridiculous here. We're trying to we're trying to base the show in reality. Yeah, Betty White's never gonna die. That's impossible. Yeah. Actually, if like if there's there's gonna be people who live forever, it's gonna be Betty White and Keith Richards. Like oh, and share. Yeah. And Cher. And Dolly yeah, Parton. Cher. Queen of England. Yeah. Yeah. She's got a good run ahead of her. He's good. Um, He's good. Donald Trump's probably going to be around for another 40 years. Yeah. He's, yeah. Um, he's pretty preserved. Yeah. Who else? <laughs> yes. um, hmm. I'm trying to think who else. I can't think of anybody else. Like, those are the ones that come to mind the most. Magic Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Thought, I thought Chuck Berry was going to go the distance. I thought he was going to crack like 150. Yeah. That's fair. I, f- I feel like Tom Cruise is going to be around for a, a long time. Tom Hanks? Yeah. Yeah. If he, as long as he keeps his head down and just kind of like stays stationary. I yeah. feel like and Robert De Niro is doing pretty good. I, I, know, I know the joke was for a while that I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure John, or sorry, uh, Robert De Niro was uh, born like 45 years old. Yeah. I'm, I'm convinced. It's weird. Have you guys ever seen him in like, like as a young Robert De Niro? Yeah, he still looks 45. Yeah, Raging Bull. Yeah, like, it's nuts. <laughs> but you're saying Keanu. Oh, uh, yeah, bring it back to Keanu. Like, the, the joke was for a while that Keanu is unaging, but he's he's starting to age now. Like A yeah. little bit, but, like, barely. Yeah. I blame the Matrix, I, the new Matrix. The Matrix. No, even, uh, even when he did, uh, t- t- what was that, re- not uh, time travel movie? Ted and... Bill and Ted. Yeah, Bill and Ted. Yeah, he, he seemed tired in that, like, he... It's definitely not a young kid anymore. Would it be weird no. or maybe even inappropriate if I just wished that Keanu Reeves and Betty White got married and just settled down and had like a nice little cottage out in the woods, maybe a lake nearby, and they just kind of had a good life? And just <laughs> How long have you been thinking just, about this? Oh, this is That's happen- like really detailed. This is happening in real time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, they just get a nice cottage. Oh. Maybe in the Bramptons? So, so is Betty White like the sugar mommy in this case, or what? Oh, it's yeah, not, like what? It's not financial. They both got. They're, they they they're, just like they're each financially other. sound. Yeah. They, they, they money's not an issue. No, they just yeah. they just snuggle and watch. Uh, Grace Mur- Anatomy. Uh, murder she wrote. <laughs> yeah, murder she wrote. Yeah, I like that one better. That's such a, that's a weird picture. Like that's a really. I think it's fantastic. I, don't know. I love it. Picture Betty I White don't... and Keanu Reeves snuggling on a couch watching Murder She Wrote. <laughs> 
Yeah, but I don't see that as like Sunsets romantic. Sunsets down. They got to, they got, at all. Well, it's not. It, it, it doesn't need to be romantic. It's, it's, just, it's wholesome. Yeah. You were just, you were just saying yeah. that they're going to get married. And like go do I, that. I like, could they not do that as I'm, like I'm really sure. good friends? Don't straw man me. Mike already did that a couple times. <laughs> I didn't say married. No, they're just gonna hang out and just like. Just, I swear just to God, you said together. married. Maybe I did. I'll I'll check it out. <laughs> I'll check it out when I'm editing. It's this. like the human equivalent of a duckling and a cat. Yeah. yeah. Just just hanging out. It's wholesome. Yeah. No, I'm not saying Are like you, I would love to see. Who them hang would out. not want like to live in the world where Keanu Reeves and Betty White? Are just snuggling on a couch, maybe a knitted knitted blanket. Yeah, they got some s'mores. And they're watching cooking murder in the she oven. Wrote. And then murder yeah. the, murder she wrote is queued up on a whatever platform or the PVR. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably one. No, ver- VHS. That's probably one version oh, of the yeah. Matrix. <laughs> yeah, that's the version of the Matrix that that I want to be in. Yeah, that was. Uh, remember in the Matrix, they made a, a version of Paradise, and no one yeah. could accept it. That's yeah. what. The, that's what that is. It totally oh, is. Oh, did I break reality? <laughs> no. I don't know. No, that should be a thing. Kickstarter. Yeah. Or India Gogo. Is that still a thing? Can we can we fire up that? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I have no idea what that the is. Patreon to support Betty White and Gano Reeves in a cabin. Yeah. We will buy you a cabin <laughs> in Brampton, Ontario. Cottage country. Yeah. And you'll have a lake view and you'll have a nice deck and maybe a couple puppies. Yeah. I don't want to push my – I don't want to overstep my uh, – <laughs> the boundaries here, but I'll buy my dog or two. Okay. Oh my god, yeah. This is what happens when we take two weeks off. Yeah. <laughs> so. I I brought up something earlier that I'm going to bring up now, just to change things completely. Could could a vampire send a dick pic? No. Um, I've thought about this. I've had the entire episode to think about this. Hmm. There's no way that they'd be able to do it. Because there's like mirrors and cameras, right? Mm-hmm. There's glass involved yes yeah. you couldn't do it there's no way but a cell phone well i mean i guess if you're going it's off of like mirror, i guess it depends on which vamp- vampire lore you're going off of because like i feel like if it was twilight then maybe yeah but it'd, it'd, wants it'd be to all sparkly that. yeah that'd be annoying but like a good could vampire you, could you imagine getting like a glittery dick pic <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, that helps me. <laughs> He's trying to be all badass. I put glitter on it. Like, your filter sucks, by the way. Just like, yo, you need to take the Snapchat fil- Dra- filter Dra- off. Like, I Dra- can't Dra- see anything. Dracula spending dick pics to Van Helsing. He's like, yo, Van Helsing. It's got the dog ears? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, your dick pic is uh, cuter than it's supposed to be. <laughs> Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> they like, they also okay. call me Vat the Impaler. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, such a bad pickup line. <laughs> Could you imagine Dracula walking into a bar and just being like, <laughs> I can't even say it. I want, the, I want, want you to want suck. To, I want to suck your... <laughs> <laughs> just like walks in, just... You know, they call me the Impaler. You that, find out Vlad why. the Impaler, yeah. Oh my god. No. <laughs> so old, yeah. old, old timer cameras probably not, but newer cameras I think would be Maybe. okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, I think you could take a picture of a vampire. Yeah. Oh, would you be able to take the. Okay, if you couldn't take a picture of the vampire himself, like, would you not be able to take a picture of his shadow? Sure. It's blocking light. Totally unrelated, but since Rachel, oh, oh, okay, I got two things actually. Oh, oh, oh God! Uh, just because Rachel brought up shadows, if you watch the Ring, like the American remake, yeah, no one yeah. casts a shadow in that movie. Really? No, on really? Pur- on purpose? Yeah. Yeah. It was it very subtle, and most people didn't notice. But yeah. If you watch I... the Ring, like the one with uh, Sarah Michelle Gellar. No, no, that's no, the that, that was Scrooge. Yeah. Uh oh, crap! She was in Mulholland Drive, the Australian chick. I know who you're talking about. I can't remember her name. But yeah, anyways. Yeah, the American Ring. Yeah, there's no shadows in it. Like, people did they do that? Why did, you said they did it on purpose? Yeah. Did they explain why? Yeah. It why? Just, it just makes it feel eerie and unnatural, but you are you don't really yeah, see it. Yeah, it, it just, just kind of tickles the, uh, yeah. the the uncanny valley, I suppose. And uh, back to That's the baby not... names. Yep. And, and actually, Rachel might be able to speak to this better than I can. 
But uh, I think it's, what is it? Did I already bring this up? Where, uh, was it like Norway or Sweden where there's like a government pre-approved oh, Iceland. list? Iceland. Iceland. It's yeah. Iceland. Yeah. And it's like a really short list. You got like yep. maybe 20 yep. options. They also have a database so you don't marry your cousin. I mean, that seems that's smart. That seems sound. Yeah, I feel that, like that's like, a good the idea. The population there is so low that like they, they have like a threshold as they'll check and it's like, yeah, your second cousin. So yeah, maybe, do maybe don't go ahead with this. Try moving to show. Yeah. <laughs> There's, 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 see, there's a lot of big see, families like, here. It's all like yeah. for like the for the government to like regulate who what your can name your kid though, like to that extent. A little weird. I, I don't know if yeah, I like that. Like, and isn't the list like stupid short? It's like you got like twenty yeah, options like, or something. Yeah, it's not a big it's not a big list, but it's like it's very. Um, I think it has something to do with the fact they just want to make sure people don't name their kid like the at symbol, which has happened. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, there's, stuff there's, like that, right? So there was like, there was a, what was it? There was a couple in France. They decided to name their kids after days of the week and they got to uh, Wednesday, but in French, I don't know what it is. And right. then like the government stepped in. They were like, you know what? No, you, you can't do this. <laughs> I'm I mean, okay with it. I, yeah, I don't think you got Wednesday Adams. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Christina Ricci. Yeah. There's definitely other some there's some other names too that like have come up and the government has 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 had to come in and be like if you don't change your name we're taking your kid away yeah. and to be fair it was fair because like I think the one family tried to name their kid like Satan or like something just really oh yeah there's and like Hitler too was it yeah. was one yep like, yeah, stuff just, like that just call your kids uh, Buffalo and Ranch okay weird segue. <laughs> <laughs> Arby's is buying Buffalo Wild Wings. Are they? Wait, what? Yeah. Arby's. I like the yeah the roast beef place. They, they have the meats. Yeah, they're buying up. Uh, they're consolidating. I guess. I don't know. I'm I 100 thought that, that would have been the thing. other way around. Right. Isn't that like I I, I would have assumed. I don't same. know personally. I've seen more Arby's than I have Buffalo Wild Wings. So. Yeah. Same. Yeah. So totally unrelated. <laughs> yeah. Switching topics, but actually, hey, do you know how Arby's got their name? Uh, oh, I, I actually saw a documentary on this like two weeks ago, and I can't remember. Arby's. Yeah, R and B, right? Roast beefs. Yeah, Arby's. I love that. Yeah. Roast beefs. Fl- yeah, but so they're buying up Buffalo Wild Wings. So that's, that's crazy. Just because you said you, you kind of triggered this non sequitur. <laughs> it's not as, my fault. As we do. <laughs> Yeah, that's all I got. Yeah. I don't know. How are we doing for time? Uh, we're like an hour 12. Holy hell, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should probably cut it here, Probably. <laughs> I know it's been a while. Sorry, everybody. Anyone watching this? <laughs> Potentially in Ireland? Yep. Actually, Gaelic yeah. names. Side note. Insane oh. names. Scene? <laughs> Gaelic names. I don't even... <laughs> Scene Bean? <laughs> <laughs> Poos Coopy? <laughs> Oh, God, the cameras are still All running. Right. All right. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Eating Bit Around Table. <laughs> I'm Michael Forward. I'm Chris Raskowski. And I'm Rachel Edge. <laughs> See you next time, maybe. Hopefully. Bye. Cross fingers. Enjoy the thumbnail. <laughs>